Hey guys, uh, we're back. Um, cut it off there just before the way station and uh, decided there really wasn't much interesting until I got to Indianapolis, so uh, here we are. About ready to hit the uh, 465 loop around to the top side of Indianapolis. And then uh, we're going to take 31 north um, from there. Look at this jerk off. Talking on the cell phone, missed the on ramp. And it's raining, so sorry about the view. It's been uh, raining sporadically. Fortunately, I've uh, Gonna miss, I missed rush hour in Cincinnati and Indianapolis, and should miss it uh, on the way back, too. I'll just have the tail end of rush hour in, in Indianapolis, so I guess that's good. got to be careful around the loop on Indy. Uh, sometimes uh, there's pretty heavy police presence. Speed limit is 55, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, nobody freaking does it anyway, including the cops most of the time. But uh, every once in a while, they'll just, they, they put a lot of cops out on the loop. Quite frankly, I think they'd be better off to just raise the speed limit to 60. I suspect there'd be less accidents. Especially on the sections of 465 that have been upgraded. Um, on, on the other side, they're still working on it. And there are some pretty terrible on-ramps and off-ramps. They they really they, they merge almost directly onto the interstate. And there's not a lot of room to accelerate or decelerate on and off. And I can understand why you run a slow uh, slower speed there. but. Uh, You know, three lanes across and up on the north side, it's even more. Why the hell is this feeling at 55? It's kind of stupid. So, um, itrucker.com. I'll have to look that up. It says, use your phone. itrucker.com. probably some trucking app that doesn't really do anything useful. For you guys, uh, this weekend is the big uh, Midwest Truck Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, probably not going to go myself. Um, we went a couple of years ago and the... Um, there's a lot to see, but man, that, that arena, wherever they have that, I think it's Rupp Arena, or I, I can't remember the name of the place, but it is really broken up, and we found it found it hard to figure out how the hell you get in and out and where to park, and it's, it's, it's kind of disorganized, but it's just so big. Um, a lot of guys drive their rigs down there, and they park at the, uh, there's a ballpark, and a shuttle that runs from there. You can park your tractor trailer there, and they're going to be tailgating, and people are bringing food. Uh, but, uh, you can take an RV in there, too. Or your car. They won't run you out. But uh, I just, yeah, it wasn't really any, it, it, it seemed like a lot of uh, booths were dedicated to people selling stuff for truckers, you know, special 
mud flaps and you know I, I stuff as a company driver that I really don't need but uh, I don't know when I got done with it when we got done with it you know both my friend and I were kind of like it was a lot of walking but we kind of had this feeling of like you know is that it <laughs> was there anything else it, it, it almost felt like we missed something and afterwards I started thinking thinking that maybe we did <laughs> um, because it's like a million square feet or more and um, I started thinking maybe there was a section of the show that we didn't know about because we never we kind of got in a back doorway and I don't think we even paid to get in we had to pay to park but there was a door open on the back side and there were guards standing there and we just walked in following some other people and nobody said anything well, we weren't trying to, you know, uh, get in for free, but we, you know, we couldn't figure out where the hell the entrance was, so we just started following people and walked in the door. So it was kind of like, I almost think we went out the outdoor, and maybe we missed a section. So, I don't know, if it's, uh, the weather's going to be crappy this weekend, I, uh, maybe I'll see if I can convince the wife to go down with me and, um, maybe see what's going on. hop over over a lane here while I can. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, right about the time I get up to 31, I ought to be right about the right time. I'm going to shut the video off and then I'll start again. I'll start it again when I get into Rochester. See, that way you kind of see, uh, you know, leaving Cincinnati, Indianapolis, and uh, and then coming into Rochester. But uh, like I said, I'd like to show you how to how it un how to unload. But um, I at this particular place. Um, I, I'm going to be in plain sight, and I, I'd really rather not unload with people looking, because if somebody were to call, you know, and say, hey, it was, you know, videoing and not paying attention or whatever, and, um, also, it takes about an hour to unload, so I'd have to break it up, um, and edit it. Because you know, a lot of the time I'm just sitting there, standing there watching the gauges, um, you know, and then you got to adjust something every once in a while. So it would be kind of a hard thing to show you without taking up an hour of your time, or me having to do some very heavy editing, which, as I mentioned before, I don't really have the time for. You guys are into cars, um, new cars, used cars. You know, just interesting, uh, interested in cars in general. I'd uh, you ought to check out a guy's channel. I found, um, believe his, his uh, YouTube channel is Saab Kyle S A A B uh, K Y L E. Uh, there may be a number after his name. I'm not sure, but if you uh, if you search on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find it. He does some really interesting car reviews, um, some new stuff, he's got some classic cars that he does reviews on, and um, he's got a pretty cool channel. Some of the stuff he uh, he gets into, uh, doesn't dress to drive everything, um, sometimes he just gets to show you the inside of it and start it and 
show you the features, but uh, some of the stuff's really cool. Sometimes it's just regular stuff, you know, a, an old Ford Taurus or something. And then other times it's a freaking, uh, uh, you know, like a 1975 Cadillac Eldorado. Um, you know, it, it just a really interesting variety of vehicles that he, uh, he finds. So I would definitely uh, check out his channel. He's, he, he always has at least a couple of new cars, like, every week that he shows. So, um, he's a pretty, pretty interesting guy. He does a nice job on the reviews. I've got extended time on YouTube, but I don't know how much. And, um... It's going to take me... I'm kind of worried about running out of uh, space on the camera. And I definitely would like you guys to see Rochester. That's probably more interesting than uh, driving along on 465. So, I'm going to stop it right now. Basically, I'm going to continue around on the north side of the city. And take 31 north, which is directly north of the city and, and follow take that through uh, Kokomo it's about an hour and a half drive uh, north from there but uh, I'm gonna stop it now and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit bye